Water is not needed more than ever before. MARTA is an excellent system. Well, MARTA, as we, we conceived it, as we, as we thought about it, we, we, we saw MARTA and we still, some of us still see MARTA as a big economic development tool. The bus boycott, the Freedom Rides of 1961, all involved transit. Transportation is not just a way to move from one place to another place, but it's been our way to open up doors, to bring down walls and barriers. So I think this uh, is a propitious time, a good time. I have seen the results of, of my work and the work of my colleagues that, uh, that you could say this is for the public good. MART is a great system with a tremendous tradition, but the 2008-2009 recession has really hit the agency hard. Over the past several years, it's no, new, no surprise to anyone at MARTA, particularly our hard-working employees, that we've gone through some lean times. Uh, and for the first time in seven years last year, we were able to finish the year in the black. Now our challenge is, as the economy improves, to continue to build on that progress. So the major things we wanted to do were first get our fiscal house in order, Secondly, restore confidence in the system and make a real investment back into our employees and to our customers. And we've been able to find some success in those areas. MARTA is key to bringing more economic development, more growth, more business, and more people moving to the Atlanta region. It's obvious to me that any, ma any major location for many employees can be greatly enhanced in its attractiveness uh, if you have a rapid transit system providing service to the people that can go there without having to drive a car back and forth. The mobility of the region, uh, pe pe people who otherwise were struggling to get from A to B, to get to work, to get to doctors and schools, etc. Before MARTA, those people were were in a bad in a bad way. I mean, they just, just, they were immobile in many instances. It's one of the reasons why the board has been so focused on being able to demonstrate that we have, um, are exercising conservative fiscal management uh, of the agency. Because we believe that if we are able to do that, if we are able to prove to people who are willing to, uh, to look at us with a fair set of guidelines, a fair set of criteria, that we're doing a good job managing the public money that we're entrusted with. For the first time in six years, we will be adding service on MARTA. We will be giving our employees more in terms of opportunities for merit increases. We are investing heavily along our rail stations, partnering with the private sector to create transit-oriented developments that will improve neighborhoods, increase our ridership, and bring new revenue to the transit system. And so those are just the beginning of the things that we're doing to try to make MARTA a more special place and to recapture some of the magic that the system once held. It is a must that MARTA continue to grow. It is a must for the business community and for state government must come up to the table and support MARTA. MARTA has been part of our vision of where perimeter goes for the future in terms of the ability to put all these connections together, especially the pedestrian experience. Uh, we know that, that MARTA has plans to work with us on upgrading the pedestrian connectivity to the stations, the branding, the signage, the security, all of those things that are important to the transit passenger as they experience their transit uh, activity. And I think, again, we're changing, we're getting higher density, we're getting a whole new generation of people moving here, and I think that MARTA has got to be part of that, that conversation about how we take the next step as a city and as a region. The streetcar is kind of the last mile, so if you get off a MARTA train, um, you're able to get east and west via the streetcar in downtown in a way that you haven't been able to do in a nice, efficient, you know, kind of cool looking uh, streetcar. One of the more exciting opportunities we have in front of us as an organization is what we call the transit-oriented development. 
Uh, MARTA owns significant amounts of land at and around some of its stations. If we are able to leverage that land, it's a win-win for us. We get the, the revenue from the lease itself, and we get the revenue from the increased ridership. Atlanta can never grow any but so much without an adequate transit system, and MARTA is that system. And, and I would like very much to see uh, Gwinnett and Cobb join Clayton County in becoming part of MARTA as was a dream at the beginning when I first voted for it. 35 years from now, I expect that when people look back at, at this time period, they'll view it as MARTA having endured a very tough period and coming out of that recession swinging. And when we look back, I fully expect folks to think of us as an iconic part of what makes Atlanta special and one of the premier public transportation operations in the entire world.